Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a protective hairstyle for you guys. I've already washed and deep conditioned my hair. My hair's just been sitting up in this towel for about five, 10 minutes. So yeah, let's get started. The scalp's nice and clean. Hair is nice and nourished and moisturized. So I'm just gonna part it off into four. I'm just gonna apply the products first and then I'm gonna style it afterwards. So I'm starting off with the Camille Rose Moisture Milk. I'm just gonna apply it all over the section. Oh, I forgot how much I love this stuff. I think this is one of their best products, I'm not gonna lie. It just melts into the hair, look. And then I'm gonna take the Coconut Water Style Setter. I've used this once before and I really, really did like the results when I did use it at one time the scent kind of reminds me of something i can't put my finger on what it reminds me of but it smells nice not as nice as the moisture milk of course but it smells decent and it's not too strong either it's nice and thick again it goes in smooth like butter really love canoras honestly i just love them for their consistency of their products it just works really well for my hair that have high porosity hair if you don't know and I like my thick butters and oils. And I am gonna seal off everything with an oil, just because I've been kind of slacking on my oil usage. So just trying to get back into the habit of using the oil every time I style my hair. So that's what it's looking like after I added all the products and the oil on top. And I'm just gonna twist it up just so that the moisture isn't lost. Because I do wanna part my hair while it's still kind of wet instead of dry and then i'm going to do this section now because it is a protective style you want to make sure that you've got a lot of sealant in there like the butters and the oils just to keep your hair moisturized twist up and then i'm going to do the other side for instagram so i'm going to record over there so i'm just going to you're back in the room <laughs> so i've got all the product in my hair now and i'm just going to part it off I'm gonna take out the two front sections and I'm gonna do a zigzag parting in the middle here. So I'm gonna start by doing a straight parting. So I'm just gonna do a little zigzag parting there. And I'm gonna follow it all the way up. And from here, I'm just gonna finish it off by doing a straight parting. It should get something that looks like that. I might just, yeah, I'm just gonna do it like that. I'm just gonna roughly twist these back up so that the moisture doesn't get lost. And I'm just gonna take out the back section. And for the back, I'm just going to do a straight parting all the way back. I'm not gonna try and do that zigzag parting all the way down. So I'm just gonna follow the last parting I did going down and just follow that all the way back. I have no idea what it looks like. I don't even have a mirror to check. So now I'm gonna take down one side and I'm gonna section off. So I'm going from my crown down to my ear like so pull out this section up and this side i'm just going to clip it up do the same thing for the other side from ear to ear just so that these don't get in the way i'm just going to clip them like this all done <laughs> and i'm just going to start by one section basically i'm just going to do a cane roll going all the way up to the top of that part in but before i start to cane roll i'm just going to spray my hair a little bit especially like the sides, so that they can just get slicked up. I'm just gonna spray the hair as well, just to have as much slip as possible when I'm canoeing. And I'm gonna apply a little bit more of the style setter on the section to smooth everything out. And yeah, I'm just gonna cane roll the back section now, and I'm gonna try and record it so that you guys can see. Hopefully, that'll be okay. I'm just gonna start by Smoothing it up like this. Okay, get something that looks like that. I don't even know what it looks like. Oh my god, that was difficult. Mm. It's not the cutest thing I've ever seen. I don't know, maybe it'll be better to flat twist it, maybe. Let me try that. Everything I said, you don't have to search no more. Love is all around, so baby, what's your hurry? You don't have to prove 
alright. And now I'm going to try and attempt to record it on my phone. Done. Right, so I'm going to start with this side. I'm just going to take some more of that falsetto and just place it around the perimeter. And now I'm just going to smooth it down. Let's make it nice and slick. Just move it upwards. Like that. Wrap it up into one section like this. Unravel this. Twist it around so it's nice and tight. Join it to that. Take my ponytail holder and just put it up into one section like this. Not too tight, but tight enough. Like so. For fluffier result, I would have just twisted this and then wait for it to dry and then take it out and the buns will have a fluffier result. But today I'm just going to wrap it around itself to create that cute little one and I'm just gonna do the other side okay so I'm back I just did the other side and I did my edges as well small small edges nothing too fancy so I'm just gonna use my edges scarf and just put it on my head And I'll be back with the final look. Right, so I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> Jokes. Imagine if I did have an Essex accent. All right, guys. So today I'm going to be doing a protective hairstyle. Yeah, you know, because you can't be damaging your hair in summer. <laughs> it is my first language. So what you're saying is, should I continue the video doing this accent or not? I'm really bad at accents, by the way. All right, guys. So I'm just going to take down my head scarf now. I actually did put on this bonnet just so that the twists don't get messed up. I don't even know what accent that is. Birmingham, Liverpoolian, Harlem. <laughs> right, so yeah, I'm just going to take down the hair. This one first. Ooh, here we go. Looking nice and flat. Edges on fleek. Ideally, I would do this hairstyle or any hairstyle that's going to be tied up on dry hair because I don't want the hair inside to be just wet all the time. It's going to lead to like fungal issues on the scalp and everything like that. So just be mindful of that. If you do want to do protective style like this, I would suggest to part off your hair while it's wet, wait for it to dry and then style it. So for example, in this video, I could have just washed and deep conditioned and then applied my leave-in conditioner, parted off my hair in the way that I would want to style it twist it up so like section hair section hair section hair section hair but you can do the flat twist flat twist could dry quite easy but what the problem is is like here where it's going to be wet still and you don't want to just leave it wet when it's in a style like this for video purposes i'm going to complete the hairstyle but once i finish filming i'm going to take the hair down so that it can dry inside and then restyle it tomorrow so yeah this is the hairstyle this is a good hairstyle to wear for summer because as you know the sun can be damaging to your hair i mean you can put heat protection on your hair if you want to yeah the uv rays can be damaging to your hair so it is a good suggestion to do protective hairstyles while you are in the peak of summer i do have that tip in my healthy hair tips video that i've got on my channel so yeah over summer just trying to protect my hair a little bit so it can just grow 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 but yeah that's the end of the video guys i hope you enjoyed the content let me know in the comments below if you're going to be rocking protective hairstyles over this summer period if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up it really does help my channel out with the algorithm thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye